These are the best websites that will do your site analysis for you. Let's get into it. Now the first website is StreetMix. It lets you build street cross sections by dragging and dropping things like footpaths, bike lanes, bus lanes, and parking, etc. Now if your street becomes too wide, the lanes will turn red as a warning. You can delete car lanes, widen the pavements, switch to a waterfront road, and even change the building style because why not? You can export JPEGs with a transparent sky and even keep the street width label on the drawing. Graphically though, it's not really my style, but I think for quick diagrams or just for your understanding, I honestly think this is great. Now, if you like simple tools like this one, the next one is for sunlight. Sun calc shows how the sun moves across your site during the year. The sun path diagram is already drawn for you with all of the arcs and angles laid out. You also get some basic solar data like sunrise time, sunset time, and daylight duration. You can export the image as a JPEG and either cut out the sun diagram or trace over it if you are doing a site analysis by hand. However, for proper shadows and real building heights, the next site is way better. Shape map shows live 3D shadows anywhere in the world. You choose a date and a time and it instantly shows how the shadows fall using real building heights. There's 2D view and a 3D view and you can switch between layers like shadows, of course, hours in the sun and annual sunlight. Now, if you're doing any overshadowing or daylight analysis, this is one of the best free tools that you can use. The next site is essential. This is Climate Central's Coastal Risk Screening Tool, which is very relevant after all of the storms and flooding we've had in the UK recently. This website will show how sea level rise could affect different places in the future. When I choose Time Horizon, this map will appear. All the red areas show land that is lower than future flood levels. It's quite alarming how much red is in the UK. There's a lot of red along the east coast and even around London. So for architects, this is useful because it helps you quickly see which regions are naturally low-lying and may need extra thought about flooding and resilience, especially if you have a coastal or riverside site. Now the fifth website is Ventusky. It shows you a huge amount of weather data on an animated map. You can see wind, temperature, precipitation, clouds, storm, past weather, future weather, everything about weather. And the wind animation is the best part because it clearly shows how wind moves across your site, which is great for early design decisions. Although I'm not loving these shapes forming around the UK, it looks like another storm is brewing, which is exactly what we need. The sixth site is OpenStreetMap, and I honestly can't make a site analysis video without showing this website. It's basically a free, editable version of Google Maps, but with way more detail. You can zoom in and see individual buildings, footpaths, cycle routes, land use, green spaces, public transport, literally everything. Even a legend. This site is a legend. To export, go into Share, pick SVG or PDF, and choose your scale. If you're zoomed out too much though, and you're exporting a small scale, it's not gonna work. So either zoom in or increase your scale. Now all you need to do to open this is right click on the PDF and open in Illustrator. It will take some time to open because it is a heavy file, so be patient. But once you're in, ungroup the drawing and edit the individual elements to suit your style. Now I've set up a shortcut, Ctrl plus Q to select similar appearance and then delete, but it's the same thing as going to select, select similar appearance. But with the shortcut, it saves me so much time when I'm cleaning the drawing. Now don't worry about the edges because you could go into view, trim view, and that's it. And now you've got this drawing, which is perfect for base map, site plans, site diagrams, quick context map, you name it. And the seventh and final website is CADMapper. This website is amazing for getting real city data straight into your drawings. You choose a location and CADMapper will give you AutoCAD files, Illustrator files, SketchUp models. I get comments all of the time saying that CADMapper is not free, but it is. 
up to one kilometer. And one kilometer is plenty. And there's nothing stopping you from downloading different one kilometers and stitching them together. Now you do need to sign up, but that's it. No credit card information, nothing. The buildings, road, rivers, and terrain, it's all there. But if you want more than one kilometer, you can check out their whole city files. Once it's downloaded, you can see that it's a zipped and compressed file. All you need to do is right click, go to 7-zip and extract to a folder. Now, if you don't see 7-zip, install it. It's free and you will need it for a lot more things in your career. Now in that folder, right click on the file and open with AutoCAD. And there you have it. Of course, this version is not as detailed as the one kilometer, but honestly, if you are tired of tracing buildings manually, this site will save your life. The next site didn't make the list and it's called Anal World. I've actually tried using it twice on different accounts and both times I either couldn't fully figure it out or I just didn't like the results. You only get five prompts in the free trial, which really isn't enough to properly test the software. Because of that, I tried to combine multiple things into one prompt, but it only gave me the pedestrian analysis and ignored the rest that I asked. Each prompt also takes five or six minutes to generate, which feels slow when I can get similar information much faster using tools like OpenStreetMap. I will say though that the building analysis was actually good. It showed building names, amenities, and wheelchair accessibility, which I like. But when I tried noise analysis, it couldn't do that either. And with only a couple of prompts left, I didn't want to waste it. So instead, I told it to analyze population, which worked, but the legend wasn't very useful. I still wanted to include it in the video because it is a site analysis tool and every time I research site analysis website, this one comes up a lot and a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. So maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Maybe you've had a better experience with it than I did. Please let me know in the comments. For me, it just needs a more generous trial. That's it. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. I would really love if the comment section became a forum for great sites for architecture. So if there are students that are struggling and they're scrolling through the comments, they'd find tons and tons more advice. So don't get keep, type it in the comments and help another student. I'm Rasha Shururu and I will see you next time.